Now back to Rick Semler and Casey Miller. Welcome back to In the Paint Tuesday. Northview picked up their 15th win of the season, the program's most since the 2003-2004 season when the great Slogan Whitman, Zach Keys, and Josh Tim all played for the Knights. They hosted Clay City. How about Northview students Hayden France, Price Miner, and Luke Lancaster with the creativity with the new 10 set? Patrice and Rondrell better watch out. They're coming for their jobs. Camden Rumpke getting the start on senior night in the Northview shooter, taking advantage of it. He splashes home a corner three. Great, great defense by Kalen Shane, the Northview senior. Sweet pass to Dylan Hyatt for the layup. He led the Knights with 14. Clay City guard Corbin Crosby uses the screen to get open. He cans the jumper. The Eels hung around for about a quarter and a half. Knights pulled away late in the first half. Brigham Boo with a full head of steam to the rim. No one stopping him. He had 12. Knights win 70-37. Northview picks up their 16th win of the season. Casey. Well, a win tonight in Riverton Park would be over 500 on the year. The last time the Panthers had a winning record this late in the season was February of 2012. RP on the road at South Vermillion. There's a trophy on the line between these two teams tonight. Close game in the fourth. Wildcats up four. Riverton Park needs a bucket, and Caleb Dickey is there with the putback. The South V lead is two points. On the other end, Dickey gets the steal. Riverton Park going to have a chance to tie this game up, and they go to Caleb Dickey. He drives, and his shot is no good. South V still up two, and that's when Braden Calder steps up on the other end. The 6'9 junior goes to the hoop and gets the and one. He had 13 points as South Vermillion brings home the hardware tonight. Wildcats win the battle of the back roads ball. Fans excited after a nice win for South V. Bryce McLeish led the team with 16 points, including some clutch free throws down the stretch. The Wildcats beat Riverton Park in a thriller 55 to 46. In homecoming tonight in the Rockadome as Rockville hosts Attica. In basketball, like in life, you don't always get a second chance, but Ethan Spence Mr. makes Mr. the Philosophy. most of his right wow. here. Look at that. Spence fights to get back uh, <laughs> with that one and converts underneath Rockville on the board. You're making me lose it over here. Hey, Hunter Mahalik, dangerous all season from three. You see the triple there for him. He chipped in 10 for the Rocks. Then it's Ethan Spence once more, one more time, goes to the baseline with a smooth reverse. Spence added 10 of his own. Rockville picks up a win over Attica tonight, 56-46. Landon Noonan led the way with 16 for the Rocks. Rick? Later on tonight, we're going to have a little one-on-one -on -one counseling here with Mr. Miller here in these chairs. Sit back and relax, kids. <laughs> Philosophy on life. A win tonight for Bar Reeve will give the Vikings their four straight Blue Chip Conference Championship and eighth in the last 10 years. The Class 2A third ranked Vikings on the road at Vincennes Reve. Vikings running and always playing unselfish. Javon Miller finishing off the nice pass from Colton Graber. Buckets were hard to come by for Reve. Bar Reeve was played great defense. Nate Miller gets one to fall. He tickles the twine on the deep two. 6-7, Keegan O'Neill continues to improve. Nice post move by the freshman. Boy, does he have the potential to be good down the road. Miller with maybe the pass of the night, threading the needle to Trevor Loniger. The senior led the way with 20. Bar Reeve won 61-31. Vikings win their fourth straight Blue Chip Conference Championship and eighth in the last 10 years. Bloomfield was needing a win to get back to the 500 mark. The Cardinals at North Knox. Warrior Skyler Blue says one, two, three. He rattles in a three from the wing. Bloomfield big man Isaac Combs thinks about the jumper, takes a dribble to get a little closer, pulls the trigger. Caden Fields was awesome like always for North Knox. A senior, three of his 21. North Knox pulls the upset winning 44-42 over Bloomfield freshman Jacob Williams hit the game winner for the Warriors in the victory. North Davies was looking to stretch their winning streak to three in a row. The Cougars at WRV. Smart basketball by North Davies. Get it to their star, Caleb Wagler. Let him take care of business. He banks in two. Other end with the defender on him, WRV's Evan Huckman hits the 15-footer. WRV didn't get the memo that Wagler's pretty good. He says, thanks for leaving me open again. Money. On the three, Nord Davies wins 54-39. Cody Phillips had 19 points in the win. 
That's nine games in the book. We still have six more to get to. We'll check in with Vincent's Lincoln, Washington, Robinson, Sullivan, Lawrenceville, and Paris. And we have women's college basketball, ISU, a big game at the Holman Center, and Sarah Dickey close to a major milestone. Find out if she got it when In the Paint returns.